Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Collecting and paying sales tax can be complicated for some companies. For example, a company may have to collect and pay more than one sales tax. Many companies have a mix of taxable and non-taxable products and services to sell. Many also have some customers that are taxable while other customers are not. QuickBooks Online uses an automated sales tax process to help simplify this for you. In QuickBooks Online Plus, you can apply sales tax on selected taxable items for taxable customers during the sales process. It keeps track of how much sales tax is collected and for which taxing agencies the sales tax is collected. It calculates sales tax and sales forms based on your company's location, the customer's taxable status and location, or by using a custom sales tax rate you select in the sales form, and the taxable items sold. From this information, QuickBooks Online Plus can then create the check or checks for the appropriate tax agency or agencies when the sales tax is collected or due. To enable sales tax in QuickBooks Online, click the Taxes link in the navigation bar. Then click the Sales Tax tab in the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar and then roll over and click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. Then click the Use Automatic Sales Tax button that appears in the Sales Tax page the first time you open the Sales Tax page to open a Setup Sales Tax Wizard in a new window. In Step 1 of the Setup Sales Tax Wizard, enter or confirm your company's physical address in the Business Address fields to determine your default sales tax agency or agencies. Then click the Next button to continue. In Step 2 of the Setup Sales Tax Wizard, it asks if you need to set up sales tax for regions outside of your company's physical location address. Select either the Yes or No option as needed. If you select No, then the associated tax agency or tax agencies appear below in the window. If you select Yes, then the initially selected tax agency or agencies appear at the bottom of the window, along with a Select an Agency dropdown. Use the Select an Agency dropdown to select the tax agency for the different state, county, district, or city tax agencies for whom you must collect sales taxes. As you select each one, they are added to the tax agencies list. If you select one by accident you don't need, you can click the Delete button at the agency row's right end to remove it. Repeat this process to select all the tax agencies for whom you need to collect sales taxes. When finished, then click the Next button to continue. QuickBooks Online then calculates the related tax rates and finishes the sales tax setup automatically. In the final screen, you can click the Create Invoice button to create an invoice if desired to see the sales tax in action, or you can click the X button in the upper right corner of the window to close the setup sales tax window. QuickBooks Online then prompts you to finish the setup by opening a How Often Do You File Sales Tax window for each agency where you need to select the filing frequency you use for filing sales tax with that agency. Select your choice from the Filing Frequency dropdown and then click the Next button if needed to move to the next agency and repeat the process. When finished, click the Save button to save your changes. When you are finished, the Sales Tax page of the Sales Tax Center then shows your current sales tax due for the selected tax agency. To change the Sales Tax Agency for which you are viewing the sales tax data, use the Select an Agency dropdown in the upper left corner of the page to select the name of the desired tax agency. In the upper right corner of the page are buttons for Sales Tax Settings and Economic Nexus. Below them is a Reports dropdown. You can use the Tax Period Date dropdown at the left side of this page to select a date range that shows a list of sales tax returns for the selected tax agency below that.
To filter the list by status, select a status from the status dropdown. For created returns for the sales tax agency, you can click the View Tax Return link to view instructions on completing the return and recording it in QuickBooks Online. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.